Hero, 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 I want to talk to y'all about something because, of course, y'all been, you know, asking me my opinion about this situation and um, I want to give my opinion about it. Hero, uh, what's taking so dang long, sir? So what is you doing? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. When I'm about to go live, does it like tell you guys I'm about to go live or something? Y'all just be sitting here waiting. My bad. I ain't know that. I ain't know we was doing all that. Sorry. Hero, 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 hero. Yes, I'm on it. And I'm in my robe. This is like really ghetto, but I just, I don't know. Some days I feel like, you know, getting geeked up and dressed up. And then other days I just, me not feel like it. Like even right now, I usually do like my full face of makeup. And um, I just didn't even have time to like put on the makeup. So I just put on some Vaseline on my Negro lips. And, um, yeah. Okay. So I wanted to pose this question because um, unfortunately, I'm not really understanding. Thanks, Bruna Butterfly. John Derrick, you better put the phone down and be focusing in class. <laughs> you better be focusing in class. Um, what was I going to say? So I've been getting messaged by Black women and... um. What I don't understand is why black women feel like we are entitled to defend the Kardashians. The Kardashians don't really do much of anything for black people, but exploit your culture and um, monetize that. So, you know, the common question that I was getting was that uh, why aren't black women defending her, especially when they understand how black men treat black women? And my thing is, somebody else let me know in the comment section, okay? Uh, hey, legendary mother, hey, bae. Why was it before Tristan got with uh, Chloe, wasn't he with a, a black woman? Do y'all know what her name? Do y'all know, do, do y'all know what her name? Do y'all know what her name is? <laughs> do y'all know what her name is? We should, yeah, it's not our problem. It's like, I literally, and it's disgusting to me to see some of these, um, some of these black women who have channels that are talking as if they have a uh, sympathy for Chloe Cart, Chloe. And I'm sitting here like, these are the same women that want to talk about black women this and you need to start seeking out your options and all this and basically talking about black men who swirl but you're defending a chloe that don't make any sense does it oh wh what is the name of the one that he had a baby with before he got into uh before he got into the relationship with chloe what, what's the name does anybody know her name i don't think her name was jordan too was it no sympathy for anyone in the situation, but the baby involved. I don't even care about that, to be honest. I don't really care about anybody involved. Oh, her name was... Okay, so the girl that Tristan was with before Chloe, her name is Jordan. And the current girl, her name is Jordan? Y'all gotta let me know this. Jordan Craig, that's weird as F. Okay, so what this is this is what I remember. I remember that a couple of years ago he was dating this girl. And let me let you in on a little bit of plug, okay? So um Legend was actually going to be in that life. You know, he was trying to get into the whole NBA life. And uh I think Tristan was from Toronto or whatever. Basically, he and um Legend actually like, you know. Um, I would say legend knows him. So I, I don't want to give too much information. Legend's going to be mad at me for you saying that. But anyways, um, he was dating this girl from what y'all saying. Her name was Jordan, uh, Woods. No, no, no. Jordan Craig, J whatever. She, there, she, there was a black woman. I remember he was dating her and she was pregnant at the time. And, 
um, he started dating Chloe. And it was like all these black women were still supporting this relationship and uh, looking at this relationship like, wow, that's goals. And everybody just kind of kicked that black woman to the curb from what I remember. And nobody really gave a F that she was pregnant with his effing child. And he basically dumped her and ditched her to be with Chloe. So I'm like, that's what y'all do. So not only do the Kardashians come in and take your your culture, they monetize your culture, they come in and they take your men and you literally celebrate them taking your effing men. What in the F? And shout out to y'all that did care. Okay, shout out to y'all that were saying things like, um, that were like, hey, uh, them doing this to this black woman was wrong or whatever. Shout out to y'all. So when I saw what was going on, I, I just was in disbelief when I, cause some of the black women on the shade room was just disgusting to me. And so, um, when all this was going on, I was just like, okay, when are black women going to realize that these women are simply here to mooch off of what you naturally have? And they're always going to sit by and pretend to be your friend only to take and make money off of you and your men. And so when I was going on, I think the black girl tried to act like she was over it or whatever. And I know that had to hurt. Like there's no way that you're, you're currently pregnant and then this man leaves you for a woman that's of a higher social status than you. And you're just kind of left to be alone, be a single mother. That's not, I don't think she she was over it, like she said, but well, whatever, you know, she wants to take the high road. So then I think last year something that came out that he was in the club with some girls that were uh, kissing on him and some other crap. And she stayed with him in black women. Oh my God. Like they jumped on him and I saw some of them and this is not all black women, but I saw some of them, like, this is why black women need to leave black men alone. How dare you do that? So, and I'm just like, why are you guys acting like effing? rabid animals for this broad that doesn't give a F about you or your plight. She going through what we go through. She took him from a black woman thinking that she would be better. That's how a lot of them think. They really look down upon black women because black women have such low self-esteem that they sit over here and look from this. They live vicariously through these non-black women and feel like that, well, hey, I don't wanna be considered bitter, so I'm going to try to jump on the Kardashian support squad. For what? How has that helped us? So now when this has come out that uh, Jordan Woods, okay, I saw, I've looked up her parents and I'm not really sure if she's mixed or if she's black, but regardless, she's my effing hero. Okay, from what people were saying is that um, she was friends with, uh, what's, what's that little girl name, uh, 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 Kylie. She was friends with her and that she's uh, dating or did something with her. Is this the mom and this is the dad? I'm not really sure. Okay, this is them together. Uh, somebody says she's biracial. Oh, okay. Uh, Kylie. Oh, okay. Jor Jordy and Aniko. Who is Aniko? Both Jordan look mixed. Shay Room. Yeah, just disgusting. So, um, when I hey Fostulus, I miss you, babe. I miss you. Um, on Shay Room with troll accounts. Oh, okay. So when I heard all this bull crap was going on and now they're talking about, oh, well, black women should be saying this and that and why ain't black women? I even saw Cardi B's disgusting behind trying to jump in. Cardi B is just the scum of the earth. I mean, I can't stand that broad. So when I saw this going on, I'm sitting back and I'm trying to understand why the freak some of these black women on YouTube are sitting over here even sympathizing with this broad. These people have built an empire. Aren't one of them almost a billionaire? They have built a million dollar empire off of exploiting black culture. And when I hear some of these people say, we well, have to blame the black men, you do have to blame the black men that put them on these platforms. Because to my understanding, I think um, before Kim married Kanye, she was married to some other black man first. And then she went on to marry that biracial man briefly. And then she married Kanye. So when you think about 
the different lineage of black men that they've dealt with. And you see all this money that they have accrued over the freaking years, money that you can't seem to tap into from your own men, but all they gotta do is come on, swoop them up, take them out of your hands and they start making all this sort of money. And to know that Tyga uh, was basically saying he's the reason behind um, Kylie's makeup and all, all of these things that they replicate off of you and you're over here still allowing yourself to be the sacrificial lamb and you still have to get over here and let this this white woman step on your back to propel herself black woman i'm ashamed i i just i can't i can't believe this oh aniko hearts Aniko Hart, Kevin, Kevin's wife is related to the baby mama, Jordy. Oh, okay. They exploit the freak out of black women and black women allow. And this is what I'm saying. It's sad that we live in a society where black, some black men have the ability to take these women to different platforms and different levels that surpass levels that black women couldn't get to themselves. And stupidly enough, black women continuously carry these women after they take from you. I don't understand that logic. How, see, it's crazy because you won't allow a black woman to do the same to you, to uh, to abuse you, take your man from you, take something that you could have monetized and they're able to build an empire. You will kill another black woman for that. But these women, it's like, well, if you can't beat them, join them. Well, don't look at race. Don't, no, you have to, because if they were black, they would not be able to run the same circles. Can you name a family to me, a family full of black women that have ran an empire where they date nothing but white men. And these white men have put these women on platforms to monetize white culture. I want somebody to get in the comment section and please tell me right now, a, a empire of black women that have been able to run circles on white men and their white women are still championing these these black women for taking their white men i want y'all to tell me right now right now i want y'all to tell me please hey tony brown please tell me that's what i that's what i would like to know please tell me somebody said phone buffering is it good it would never effing happen it would never freaking happen much love to you Cree. thank you so much <laughs> plank thank you thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you guys for donating i really do who's champion i see so many um right miss carl queen that's another thing i'm going to bring up right jeopardy music i see so many of these women there's literally grown women on youtube that are black that will sit over here and fight other black women tooth and nail about the kardashians and i'm sitting here thinking to myself what the freak what what do they have that makes you so vested in them when you can't even get the same benefits i could you know if black women were able to be able to milk black men the way that these white these white women have then I could see you sitting over here and trying to act like you can relate, but you can't relate at all. You are not in the same socioeconomic status as these women. You are not able to get away with culture vulturing. You can't take white culture and make money off that bullcrap black woman. So in saying that, I really don't understand why some of us feel obligated to protect them. They literally have used you up until this point. And they'll continue to use you and you will defend you being the sacrificial lamb. I don't freaking understand that bull crap. I really don't. So when I see that this happened here, and like Miss Cardio Queen said, this is a 26, 20 however old year old man dealing with this older white, that shows you how broken down some of these men are. They're literally breeding bucks that you will get with a woman who is past her, you know, how old is she? Is she 40? She's way past the age where she's high risk pregnancy and all that kind of stuff. You could have got a woman that was way younger. You have the NBA, you have a plethora of women that is at your beck and call. And this is who you get. One that basically started off as an effing side chick. And that's why some of you black women, I need you to understand that Unfortunately, when these men do date in a racially, some of them love to have black side chicks. They love to have you. And this is something that Amber Rose was talking about. And I actually believed her. I actually believe her because I've heard of this dynamic before where some of these men in public, they uplift. Let me put my little Yoda thing on because I'm about to start prophesying. See, Yoda, I feel it. Oh, I feel it. Okay. So Yoda 
is telling me to say this right now. So what I noticed is that with some of these men, when they do get into interracial relationships, they like to have the face of their relationship and then being shown with these non-black women. Because again, shout out to Nick Cannon, their status symbols. But when it comes to black women, they love to keep us in private. They'll keep you as the side chick. Or if they were with you while they had the white woman as the side chick, she'll be upgraded to like the main chick. And so I'm not really understanding what is it going to take for black women to stop playing the black man side chick with these women? And, and I'm saying this metaphorically speaking, black women love to play the side chicks. Some of y'all, this is not all y'all. We have to stop playing the side chick where you allow these men to come in, miss, uh, miss, misuse you, abuse you, disrespect you, give all his wealth to non-black women and you just sit on the side go king i'm not mad at her i love her you know this is about black women too black women support the kardashians what type of dope are some of y'all smoking what's wrong with you bae like what's what's going on here that these women are not even doing an inkling of the support that you're giving to them. And they know that they can keep taking from you, keep taking all of these uh, accesses to different resources that really should be allocated to you. I'll just keep taking it from you. I can't, one thing I really can't stand is seeing some of these black women on YouTube doing Kim Kardashian tutorials. I'd be so disgusted with some of y'all. I don't freaking understand that. That Will you ever see a Kardashian doing a tutorial using the makeup palette of some of these black owned companies? Isn't Juvia's Place, is Juvia's Place a black owned? Let me look that up real fast. Let me see. Juvia's Place, black owned. I think Juvia's Place is black owned. To my understanding, okay, fastest girl. Yeah, I don't think you would ever see the effing Kardashians doing tutorials to support black owned makeup companies. And if you remember, okay, Kim Kardashian, when, uh, what's that white guy's name? When that white racist makeup artist, I can't even think of what his name is. He made some comments where he's calling himself the N word and saying somebody needs bat. I think it was a black woman needed battery acid thrown on her face to lighten herself up. She basically was like, black woman, get over that bull crap. Get over it. Go buy my makeup for, for $60 a palette. And I want you to shut the F up. I don't like when people bring up my past and don't bring up his past. That's basically what she said. And y'all still defend these broads. Oh, because he cheated on her. Black women have been getting cheated on by so many white women. I've lost F and count. They will leave whole families, five, six kids. They make this black woman have all these F and kids, give up the best years of her freaking life, give up her having a career. She probably wanted to go to medical school. Or she probably wanted to become an engineer or whatever. And she gave that up to have your F and babies. And they will turn around and some of them will still leave you for a woman like a Khloe Kardashian. And do you see the collective of Khloe Kardashians coming out to say, white women, stop taking black women's men. White women, stop trying to steal the culture of black people. White women, what you're doing to black women is wrong. I'm sick of it. You don't see them doing that stupid crap. But us, we're on the internet. We're talking about how bad this looks for black men. See, white women, this is why we've been trying to... Hold on. Somebody actually told me that there was a comment under some video about uh, uh, Tr 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 Tristan Thompson about the whole Chloe thing. And um, they said there was this woman that left a comment and said, see, this is why I don't date black men. So when you saw how some of these men are willing to leave us and our little black churn for y'all, you saw how some of our men will uplift you guys over us. Y'all thought it was good. Y'all sitting right beside talking about see what see black women. This is why black men don't like you guys because you wear a weave. This is why black men don't like you guys because you're too loud. This is why black men don't mess with you guys. You're saying all of this bull crap <laughs> and feel like you got one up on us. Now that you see that some of these girls don't change their behavior just because you're white. Then now you want to talk about this is why I don't date black men, black white women save yourselves. They probably will start making an effing movement about that bull crap now because of how they see the treatment is. And so my thing is that 
I really don't, I don't have no sympathy for you. Oh, well, if you have a baby, he's, he did it to another woman. Why should we give an F about you? And black woman, this is a, t a really telling story for you that you have to vet. See, this is what I was talking about in the other video that I did. Yeah, you're not submissive. See, I know how to be submissive to my man. Come here, Tyrone. I know how to shut my effing mouth. I know. It's like, but they don't they don't really treat y'all what from according to sin, okay, they cater to y'all. But what we see in with the Negroes like Tristan, they not really catering much. Um, but when you see how disrespectful these men are willing to treat you and black women, you have to understand that if you want to get into relationships, like I was telling you guys in my Mary J. Blige video, where you are being hypergamous and dating up. You still have to vet men to ensure that they're not colorists. You need to know their racial views and you need to know their standards in terms of family. Because if you don't, you'll F around and get a Tristan or you'll F around and get a Jalil a day or you'll F around and get a man that uh, some. OK, this is another person that people were talking about. Joel Embiid. OK, y'all say it Embiid, whatever. I don't I don't know how to pronounce his name. So. Y'all were saying that he initially tried to shoot his shot at Rihanna and she and she turned him down. And some black women were saying, see, he tried to get with a black woman, but black women didn't want blah, 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 blah. This is the thing. I feel like that is an indication that he is colorist. When you see men that only go for lighter skin or mixed race women, I'm sorry, but you really have to be careful because they could be colorist. And so when you get with these men that unbeknownst to you that he's colorist, that's when you start getting abused in these relationships by these men. They start effing around, talking about your skin tone, telling you they don't want dark skin babies and you're too dark for this, you're too this and that. And you have to be very careful because that mentality can be inflicted upon your children. But you see with some of these men, they get with these white women and they'll inflict that mentality upon these mixed race kids and boom, next thing you know, you got a mixed race kid that is colorist. So you have to... Not only do you want to ensure that you date up, but you also want to make sure that you're getting with a quality, high caliber man that is not self-hating. Because if you do, you're going to F around with a Tristan Thompson. And during the course of the relationship, he's going to cheat on you nonstop with non-black women. That, that's it. So when I see black women talking about you know, be uh, Chloe, we got you. And Chloe, I'm supporting. I'm not supporting none of this bull crap. And Carly, uh, Carly B, Cardi B needs to shut the F up. You don't have a right to speak on no black issues. You never had a freaking right to speak on black issues. And while you worried about what Jordan Woods is doing, you better be careful and make sure the offset ain't got her in his contacts to be texting. Because it seems like no matter how much awards that you get and how much pandering that you do to black people and how much you try to get your nose into our effing business, he can't seem to stay home and be faithful to you. So you need to shut the freak up and read a, a, a elementary school book so that you could sharpen up your English skills. I think that's what you need to be worrying about instead of sounding like you ride an effing bus that was built for people that need some sort of help. Because the way that you be talking about black people and trying to act like you're part of the community to speak on us, you don't have no right to speak on nobody that's black. And black people need to stop giving her the green light to speak on us because the moment that black starts speaking on the Latinas, then all of a sudden they have a problem. And it's like, can't black people be Latins too? But or or is it only the white Latins that can speak on Latin issues? So, you know, black people have done a lot, a lot of self damage to allow other races of people to feel like they can come in, call shots, but you can't turn around and do the same very thing to them, even though they have been doing it to you for over 400 effing years. See, this is nothing new to me. What these people are doing now is really nothing new to me. It's just that they are doing it in a different form. Somebody said, what the heck is y'all problem with Cardi B? Oh my God. Yeah, she is colorist. What was this outrage when he, exactly. Where were black women's, yes, Shelly, much love to you. Where were black women in droves coming out to support uh, Jordan or, I don't know if she's mixed or not. I don't know. But where were y'all at when Tristan did this to her? Where, where were y'all at? But now all of a sudden y'all got y'all capes on for Chloe and it's effing disgusting to me. Y'all need to stop that bull crap until they collectively start supporting black women. Then maybe I could understand why you feel uh, obligated to support them, but they're not going to do that. All they're going to do is sit back, count their effing money, 
count it in front of you and take your men from you consistently. So do I feel sympathy for, for her? F no. And I'll never feel sympathy for her or any of them. So if Jordan Woods decides to go on and have an LTR with Tristan, shout out to her. But that's not my fight in black woman. That's not your fight either. So anyways, you guys, I got a phone call to make. But um, I'm going to come back with another video about this Jesse Smollett situation because something about it has been bothering me. The behavior of black people during the situation has really been... It's been getting under my skin. I'm not really sure what the F is going on with some of us, but I'll come back and talk to you guys about that after I get off this call. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys so much for donating, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.